Here are some typical intros and endings that you can use in solos or just to kick off a 12 bar blues pattern. To start the first one, take your third finger, put it on the second string, third fret. Hit that note and slide up to the second string, fifth fret. A little bit faster. Now use your pinky on the first string, fifth fret. And then hit the second string, fifth fret again. Lift up your third finger and put down your middle finger on the second string, fourth fret. Hit the first string, fifth fret again. Back to the second string. Lift up your middle finger and put down your pointer finger on the second string, third fret. Hit the second string, first string, fifth fret, back to the second string. Keep your pinky where it is and slide your pointer finger down to the second string, second fret. With the pick, hit both of those strings together. Strum the two strings. All together, that sounds like this. To end the intro, make this chord shape. Put your middle finger on the fifth string, sixth fret. Pointer finger on the fourth string, fifth fret. Third finger on the third string, sixth fret. And pinky on the second string, sixth fret. And with your pinky, try and mute the first string by laying it over so it just barely touches the first string, so it doesn't make any sound. Strum the strings from the fifth string down. And then slide that whole shape up one fret. So you're on the seventh fret, sixth fret, seventh fret, seventh fret. And again, mute the first string with your pinky. Strum upwards this time. That little slide sounds like this. All together with the first section. Okay, for this next intro, start with your middle finger on the third string, seventh fret. Hit the note and slide up to the ninth fret. Put your third finger on the first string, ninth fret. And then hit the third string, ninth fret again. Slide that whole shape down one fret. Hit the, the third string, eighth fret. First string, eighth fret. Back to the third string, eighth fret. Down another fret and do the same thing. Third string, first string, third string. Slide down one more fret and lift up your third finger. Put down your pointer finger on the first string, fifth fret. And try and meet the second string using your middle finger. Lay your middle finger down just a little bit so it touches the second string so it doesn't make any sound. With the pick, strum the top three strings. Because the second string is muted, you should only hear the third string and first string notes. From the beginning, that sounds like this. To end that, do a little line on the fifth string. Start with your pointer finger on the fifth string, fourth fret. Use your middle finger on the fifth string, fifth fret. Third finger on the fifth string, sixth fret. And pinky on the fifth string, seventh fret. A little faster. From the beginning, it sounds like this. Okay, for this next intro, <clears throat> start with your middle finger on the sixth string, fifth fret. Hit that twice. And with your right hand, use a downstroke and then an upstroke of the pick. So you get down, up. Then, with your pointer finger on the fifth string, fourth fret, do the same thing. Down, up. Middle finger on the fifth string, fifth fret, same thing. Down, up. Slide your middle finger up to the sixth fret. Same thing with the pick. Slide your middle finger up one more time and hit just one downstroke of the pick. Then make the same shape that you made in the first intro. Middle finger on the fifth string, eighth fret. Pointer on the fourth string, seventh fret. Third finger on the third string, eighth fret. Pinky on the second string, eighth fret. Mute the first string with your pinky. Strum down with the pick. And this time we're going to slide down a fret. So slide all the fingers down to the seventh, sixth, seventh, and seventh frets and then strum up with the pick. So that chord shape should sound like this. From the beginning, a little 
faster. Okay, for the last intro, start with your pinky on the fourth string seventh fret, down up in the right hand. Next, middle finger on the fourth string fifth fret, down up again. Pointer finger on the fourth string fourth fret, down up again. Pinky on the fifth string eighth fret, down up again. Third finger on the fifth string seventh fret, hit that one just one time. Now lay your third finger down so that it covers the fourth string, third string, and second string. You should hear these three notes. Hit those all together. Slide up a fret, hit the same three strings. Slide up one more time and hit it once. All together, that slide should sound like this. From the beginning of the lick, 